Guys, come with me. Let's go have a baby. For someone who has zero tolerance for pain, I have been in labor since early evening and I had no idea that I was in labor or that the pain I was feeling were actually contraction. I thought they were forced labor up until this point in the ambulance where my pain increased dramatically. I'm so glad that my husband convinced me that we should go to the hospital regardless if I feel it's real or not. But earlier today, I was chatting with my best friend and I told him that I had given birth. He called me on video just to see that I was still pregnant and I was like, I'm joking with you. Little did I know that today would actually be baby day. One minute, I am feeding my son in the kitchen, talking to my best friend. Afterwards, I was talking to my mother. The next thing, my husband came home. I'm in pain. And here I am in the hospital. 2 cm dilated, begging for epidural so bad. And they told me that I cannot get epidural yet because I am not 3 cm dilated. I spoke to my mother at about 6 45 pm at this point i had no idea that i would go to the hospital but i told her that i was feeling a little bit of stomach pain she told me she was going to have a bath and i started calling her while i was in the hospital my mother's phone was switched off so i called my sister my sister saw me crying and she was praying for me saying you deliver like an hebrew woman and the whole time i was telling her the hospital have refused to give me epidural no. Just because it's dangerous for me. They want to be safe. No, no, if you do, it was too fast. Uh, okay. While they cleaned my baby up, I called my sister. This time around, she was with my mother. My mother was so shocked that I had given birth. She was praising God. Mother, I called my best friend. He didn't believe me. I had to show him on video the baby for him to believe me because he thought i was joking with him like i did earlier i couldn't stop staring at my daughter just the day before january 4th i saw my gynecologist who has been the one checking up on me and baby the entire nine months and he told me that my cervix was not ready i should come for another appointment on the 15th of january and i'm like I, I could feel it that my baby would come soon, but I didn't know it would be this soon. I had to call him immediately to inform him that I had given birth. He was so shocked as well. A birth works in Morocco. You bring your personal doctor to the hospital who would be the one to deliver your baby. So before my doctor could be called, I already had my baby. The hospital okay. scheduled to induce me January 8th and January 5th labor happened naturally. Hi guys! Oh my god! 
I had a baby. I am still in our way of everything my body has been through the last couple of hours. Um, it's currently 11.30 p.m. today, January 5th, 2024. And baby girl, Diane, has been born yes her first name is called Diane. oh my god guys i want to tell you guys all about my bet it was really fast it was natural it was unmedicated and it was truly emotional and can i say dramatic but whew, i had my baby at about 9 40 pm and right now it's about 11 30 I'm now in my suite. I left the delivery room after two hours of bed. Baby was taken to the nursery. Um, and right now, I am just going to get some rest. I know I'm not going to rest because from the delivery room, I have been calling my family, my friends, like all my loved ones. I called as many people as I could and I'm just gonna keep talking to my family and rest from there and afterwards go see baby in the nursery probably best breastfeed her and tomorrow I would give you guys more info on what my delivery looks like it was totally different from my first delivery and I just truly bless God and I am super grateful that my child is at side with us ah, tomorrow guys tomorrow tomorrow i am so tomorrow guys tomorrow i am so emotional right now like i am really emotional right now i've got to go tomorrow i'll see you guys okay Ooh, i'm now a mother of two oh my god <laughs> Baby girl is sleeping and my breakfast arrived. So I'm just gonna have breakfast now. <laughs> I feel so healthy and strong. It's about 10 a.m. the 6th of January and it's literally like a couple of hours since I gave birth and I feel good. I feel so grateful how I feel healthy and it's so funny. My doctor just came and checked me and told me everything is fine. I didn't get stitches. I'm just waiting for the pediatrician to come see the baby as well and they told me that as soon as me and the baby passed the health check we would be free to go home for me this is so strange i also had um natural beds in france and i stayed for four days in the hospital because they wanted time to check mama and check baby even though we were fine it was just like the law in morocco on the other hand if you have natural beds and you're fine in 24 hours you can go home unless you insist on staying and i don't know what insisting on staying means <laughs> i'm just told that i'm glad to go home basically and if i don't want to go home i will basically be paying for the room like an hotel <laughs> one thing for sure the breakfast is really healthy Baby girl is sleeping. Ooh, she's beautiful. Baby girl and I did photo shoots. I had this blanket when I had my son. Oh my God, here is my son meeting his sister for the first time. Oh my God. Kiss baby. Ooh, do you know how to kiss? 
my son and i ate together of course <laughs> i had more photo shoots with my daughter she had a lot of pictures hi guys me dear she's beautiful i did a lot of milestone pictures for her i did exactly all of these when i had my son so i feel so blessed that i get to do it again this time around for my daughter god is so amazing i like i cannot stop thanking god i cannot stop being grateful to god we are heading home at about 3 p.m less than 24 hours after labor i feel so strong i feel so energetic We arrived home and yeah, my journey starts as a mother of two. Yeah, our family journey starts as a family of four. We are literally so blessed. Thank you, Jesus, for an easy pregnancy and, and a safe and successful birth. All glory belongs to God. Thank you, God. I literally thought I would be in labor for 30 hours like my first bet, but God showed off so much.